This is a fourth stimulus check, stimulus program, and news update. New White House memos have been obtained talking about President Biden's new tax increase. I'll give you the details on that. I'll give you the latest updates regarding the fourth stimulus check. Health insurers are giving out their own stimulus checks up to $300. I'll give you the details with that. And a new bipartisan bill came out for student loan forgiveness. And I'll give you some other important updates as well. I hope you're having a great day so far. If you appreciate these straight to the point updates, then hit the like button down below. Big news here. So Florida Governor DeSantis suspends all remaining COVID restrictions, saying we are no longer in a state of emergency. So this happened yesterday and it immediately suspends the state's remaining COVID-19 public health restrictions. So no more social distancing, no more masks required, but private businesses can still require masks and enforce social social distancing and other protective measures, but not across the state. Uh, he also said that the fact is we are no longer in a state of emergency, and he acknowledged that Florida was still not done with its fight against coronavirus, but reiterated the nation's decline in COVID-19 cases and deaths. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Do you know anyone from Florida? Are you from Florida? How's everything going there? Uh, also, I found this, inf uh, this information interesting. Florida has reported the third most COVID-19 cases in the U.S. at more than 2.2 million since the beginning of the pandemic and the fourth highest death toll at more than 35,000 fatalities. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think about this. Do you think more states should do the same thing? Should Florida still remain restricted on COVID-19 restrictions? Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Next, let's talk about a new COVID stimulus check that may be on the way from your health insurer. So this is from health insurers and basically it's saying uh, that health private insurance companies are also expected to dole out $2.1 billion in rebates to more than 10.7 million policyholders this fall. And it also says that it's going to be... Uh, for the average consumer who bought health insurance on the individual market, that means an average cash rebate of $299 in the fall, so around $300 uh, for rebates. And the reason why this is happening is because a number of insurance companies failed to meet the ACA's medical loss ratio threshold in 2020, which requires insurers to spend at least 80% of premium revenues on healthcare claims or quality improvement activities. So if you have uh, health insurance on the individual market, new check may be coming your way. Let's talk about the tax hike from President Biden next. Here's a quick clip giving more details about that. The Biden administration believes it's got a winning hand in the fight over taxes. We obtained copies of internal White House memos outlining the argument that this isn't just about paying for infrastructure and education, and that in fact, it's primarily about what Anita Dunn, one of Biden's senior advisors, calls restoring basic fairness to the tax code. A recent Monmouth University poll found that nearly two thirds of Americans support raising taxes on corporations and the wealthy. And the White House memo claims that billionaires like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates agree, though clearly their position appears to be more nuanced than that. So how much could one person wind up paying? Let's say you're a single person making $2 million in ordinary salaried income. Your tax bill would be almost $42,000 higher from the increase in the top rate to 39.6%. But if your $2 million was all in capital gains, you'd get hit a lot harder. Your taxes would go up by $196,000 since gains over a million would be taxed as ordinary income. Now, that is just one person. Apply that across the top three tenths of 1%. And here's how much Biden's plan is projected to raise over the course of a decade. $430 billion from the increase in cap gains and getting rid of stepped up basis, $112 billion from raising the top rate, $339 billion from closing loopholes, and $700 billion from enhanced IRS enforcement. So guys, the poll numbers that the White House is looking at do show a sizable number of Republican voters supporting the plan. They're hoping that'll convince Republican lawmakers to get on board as well. According to President Biden's tax plan, he still is not going to tax the everyday American. And it seems like most people are comfortable with the rich people and corporations being taxed more. So President Biden said that Americans earning less than 400,000 will not pay a single penny in taxes, which seems like the plan so far, average day American is not going to get taxed. Republicans are saying that taxing corporations more and wealthy will affect the everyday American. We'll see how that pans out. 
out. Next, let's talk about the fourth stimulus check. Is it going to happen? So President Biden spoke about the third stimulus check payments, saying that they were making a difference. Is there still a need for a fourth stimulus check? That's the big question. And will it be included in the infrastructure package? So the U.S. poverty rate has uh, rose to pandemic high ahead of new stimulus. So there is still a big need because the poverty rate increased to 11.7% according to economic research. And it's saying that a study shows that two more stimulus checks could keep 12 million people out of poverty. So it may not be a big general recurring stimulus check, fourth stimulus check to everybody, but most likely to help out to the 12 million people who need the help. And it could just be maybe one, maybe two stimulus checks at that. Uh, it, I'll, I'll let you know the latest on what's happening, but so far, Fourth stimulus check with the Biden plan. It's not in the infrastructure package. It's so far, it's just a standalone bill. Two of them actually, $2,000 per month stimulus checks. I'll keep you updated if it gets added to the infrastructure plan or if it's going to have a vote for a standalone bill. Also the increase for social security. I get a lot of your comments asking the latest with that. So far it is just for SSI. They haven't expanded it to SSDI or other social security recipients. I'll keep you updated on that as well as more news comes out. Uh, Mitch McConnell, the Senate minority leader for the Republicans, said that zero Republicans will back Biden's infrastructure package. He said, I don't think there will be any Republican support, none, zero, for the $4.1 trillion grab bag, which has infrastructure in it, but a whole lot of other stuff. He says, we're open to doing roughly $600 billion package, which deals with what all of us agree is infrastructure. If it's going to be about infrastructure, let's make it about infrastructure. So what this means is that the Democrats' two plans, we have the infrastructure plan, which is the American Jobs Plan and the American Families Plan. Looks like the Republicans are not on board at all with that. Republicans have a $568 billion infrastructure package. What's happening now behind the scenes is there are efforts on bipartisan infrastructure bill uh, between the Democrats and Republicans. Uh, and then they're going, the Democrats may be splitting up the package and then pass their own package later on through reconciliation. So there was a meeting with the Republicans and President Biden the other day. Senator uh, Shelley Moore Capito said that she's encouraged on bipartisan infrastructure plan after Biden meeting. Here is more from Shelley Moore talking about the meeting and what's going to happen moving forward with infrastructure. Biden, West Virginia Senator and member of the Senate Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee, Shelley Moore Capito. She is also the leader of the GOP's infrastructure counteroffer. Senator, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. You've spoken personally with President Biden. I've read your office's readout and the White House's version. Is it your sense he really wants Republican support? Well, certainly that was the substance of the conversation that I had with the president on Thursday. He said, let's start to narrow down uh, where we where we really think infrastructure is, where you think it is, and then how that interplays with what, where, what I would like to see on physical or core infrastructure. Let's see uh, what kind of programming that is. Let's talk about pay-fors. Let's get serious about really trying to reach a negotiated uh, infrastructure package. And I'm very encouraged by this. Uh, I've talked to a lot of my colleagues and certainly constantly talking with White House and, and others. And I just feel like there's a real uh, desire and will for us to work together on something we've traditionally worked together on through many, many years. Let me follow up on that. So the Republican yeah. counter offers $568 billion right. over five years or so. The White House plans at $2.2 trillion. Is there a sweet spot in there that could be appealing to both sides? Well, what I think you have to do is look at the president's plan at $2.2 trillion, has a lot of social infrastructure, human infrastructure, and other things that, that I don't think if you ask, uh, ask somebody on the street here in, in West Virginia, what does infrastructure mean to you, it doesn't meet that definition. Infrastructure, we're talking physical road bridges, ports, waterways, uh, broadband, um, you know, and, and those types of of uh, really job creating infrastructure projects that we need to modernize our transportation and other systems. Uh, I, we're, we're working with the White House and I think it's been very open door. We've been very 
uh, encouraged to keep moving forward, uh, and that's what we're going to do. And until somebody tells me and that uh, it's not working anymore, I'm going to try to reach that that sweet spot that we're looking for to be able to work together to get a bill across the table. So my two daughters, Bella and Kalea, just woke up, so they'll be joining us for the rest of the video. If you think that the infrastructure package stimulus checks are taking forever, you're not alone. It seems like they're just dragging out the, the process. Uh, next, let's talk about the student loan forgiveness. There's a new bill that aims to help active duty military service members. So this is just for active duty military service members. It's a bipartisan bill proposed by Senators Maggie Hassan and Marco Rubio saying that service members take enormous risks to protect our freedoms and it is unacceptable that members of the military can return home after active duty and not be any closer to receiving loan forgiveness. This bipartisan bill is a common sense fix to help some of our country's most deserving public servants get out from under the burden of their student loan or their student debt more quickly <clears throat> excuse me so uh this is a new bill that's introduced that uh is called the public service loan forgiveness program and it is the pslf program enables government and nonprofit employees with federally backed student loans to apply for forgiveness after proof of 120 monthly payments under a qualifying repayment plan. So in order to be eligible for this, you need to be a uh, active duty service member and have 120 months of payments already. Uh, so really interesting plan there. Uh, so <laughs> let me know what you think about that. Anyways, that is all the stimulus news I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Uh, here's going to be my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys. Well, this is the tip of the day. I want to tell you something that you should always, always do. Sometimes just sit on your bed or like sit in, sit at a table on like your, on your counter, and like sit down and take like ten breaths. Breathe in and breathe out because you need yourself to feel relaxed. And that's all I wanted to tell you for today. Bye. By the way, Bella made her own little outfit here. She took one of my ties and she took my Wise Fly <laughs> shirt and uh, she made her own little dress type of thing, which I, th which I thought was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We appreciate the support and I hope you have an amazing day. <laughs> if you want to watch more videos, uh, you could click one of the links that's on the screen right now. Uh, check out one of my other channels or you can check out some other stimulus videos and we'll see you in the next video well i'll see you i don't know about them but see you in the next video take care be safe Good. say thank you for watching thank you for watching say bye say, say bye people bye people <laughs> all right thanks bye <laughs>